Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president laid out a plan to consolidate six federal agencies into one unified department that will better support American businesses. Honored Martin Luther King Jr. Welcome the Tuskegee Airmen, the King of Jordan, and the 2011 World Series champions to the White House. And travel to the Magic Kingdom to unveil the latest We Can't Wait action to create jobs. It's January 13th to January 19th, or the time is always right to do what is right. On Friday, the president called on Congress to give him the authority to consolidate six federal agencies into one that would shrink federal bureaucracy, save taxpayer dollars, and better support the private sector enterprises that will lead the American economic recovery. Right now, there are six departments and agencies focused primarily on business and trade in the federal government. In this case, six is not better than one because it produces redundancy and inefficiency. With the authority that I'm requesting today, we could consolidate them all into one department with one website, one phone number, one mission, helping American businesses succeed. That's a big idea. Later, the President and First Lady welcomed the Tuskegee Airmen to the White House for a screening of the movie Red Tails. We're going to be bringing in popcorn for everybody who didn't get popcorn. On Monday, the first family headed to the Brown Education Campus in Washington, D.C. to mark Martin Luther King Jr. Day by participating in a community service project that included helping out with cleaning and painting inside the lines, of course. If you look at that speech talking about Dr. King as a drum major, all of us can be a drum major for service. You know, there's nobody who can't serve, nobody who can't help somebody else. And all the time it took to sand this ahead of time and stain it, you guys missed that part. On Tuesday, the president convened his Council on Jobs and Competitiveness in the state dining room of the White House to talk to private sector leaders about policies that will create jobs in America and strengthen our economic recovery. My legislative proposal would create a consolidation authority uh, that would for the first time require that any reorganization proposal reduce the size of government and cut costs. Every one of the agencies in this government has been focused on how do they improve, get smarter, get better, get faster. I believe that we've made genuine progress on all these fronts. We would not have made this progress without this Jobs Council. Uh, and I think it will pay off uh, in terms of uh, solidifying this recovery and allowing us to move forward uh, in a way where it actually translates into jobs. That afternoon, the President welcomed King Abdullah II of Jordan to the White House. The last time we met, the face of uh, the region was very different. We consult closely with the Jordanians, and we value the advice and uh, the thoughtful leadership that His Majesty provides. Later, the President and First Lady welcomed the St. Louis Cardinals to the White House to honor the team, their 2011 World Series victory, and the First Lady's birthday. When we uh, first married, it was a little controversial that she was 20 years younger than me. But uh, now... Uh, it, it seems to have worked out okay. Here we've got a couple of gifts for you and, and uh, Mrs. Obama. That's nice right there. There we go. Uh, one for each. I'm a little, bit, a little bit worried about giving my wife a bat, though, if I, <laughs> if I mess up. I'll take my bat. <laughs> On Thursday, the president traveled to the Magic Kingdom in Orlando, Florida, where he unveiled a strategy to significantly boost tourism and travel important sectors in the U.S. economy. More money spent by more tourists means more businesses can hire more workers. It's a pretty simple formula. It's the latest in a series of we can't wait actions the president has undertaken to promote job creation by putting in place right away policies that will strengthen the economy. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your West Wing Week. I am excited to see Mickey. Uh, it's always uh, nice to meet a world leader uh, who has bigger ears than me. <laughs>